Hello and welcome to this uh, walkthrough of a titration level question. Um, it's, it's a standard six mark style that's favoured by OCR and uh, what we'll do is take you through how to possibly plan out a way of doing this without having to write a mini essay. So looking at the question it says describe the procedure used by the student to carry out the titration and making sure you include the following. So you've got procedure and equipment to make a standard solution. And you've also got the procedure and equipment used to analyse the standard solution. Alongside anything that's used or done to improve the reliability of the results. So the standard solution has to contain something uh, to do with a 250 cm3 container. So you've got to have a 250 cm3 volumetric flask. Not a beaker, not any old type of container. It's got to be a volumetric flask because that's what's used to make standard solutions. You need a top pan balance, not weighing scales. It's a top pan balance that's used. You need accuracy in obtaining the mass of the carbonate. And you need rinsing to avoid losing material. So once you've made your titration, sorry, once you've made your standard solution, you then need to titrate it. So you'll need to mention the use of a burette. A suitable indicator could be phenolphthalein or methyl orange, for example. Part of any good titration procedure is the use of a trial, so you know more or less how much to add when you're taking your accurate, um, your accurate titers. And to get full marks, you have to make reference to the idea of obtaining concordant results. So that's two results that happen to be within 0.10 centimeters cubed of each other. So the next thing to do now is to think about the sections you can um, split your answer into. What you mustn't try to get trapped into is writing loads and loads and loads and loads of, of sentences. It's not an essay. It can be done using bullet points. So here's how you could possibly do that and still get full marks. If you start by splitting your answer space into two sections, That'll serve as a reminder that you actually have to say something about each of the two techniques that are being asked about. Because lots of people, when they do this kind of question, they tend to go into lots of detail about how to make a standard solution. You can see there's two techniques to talk about, and it's six marks, so it's highly likely that the, the teacher or the marker is going to split their marking between the two, solution, between the two um, techniques. So if you've missed out one technique, that's automatically going to limit your marks by about half. So to get your carbonate into water, you'd have to do those three things. You have to know how much you're going to weigh out. You state that you're using a top band balance, so, so actually name the piece of equipment properly. You transfer the solid to a beaker and rinsing the weighing boat. So you're mentioning that you're rinsing to avoid losing material. You then dissolve in about 100 centimeters cube, roughly, of distilled water. So to finish off the process of making your standard solution, you need to make sure you transfer it to a clean, dry volumetric flask, rinsing as you go, and then making it up to the mark with the bottom of the meniscus level with the mark, and then invert several times to ensure even mixing. So you've built into what you're saying here, how you're going to keep it reliable, how you're not going to lose material, how you're going to make sure you're going to be accurate, and how you're going to make sure that everything is mixed together so that there's a consistency of carbonate dissolved throughout the solution. So when it comes to the titration, although they don't ask for diagrams, you may or may not wish to sketch one just to help yourself think about what you're going to say, rather than trying to memorise it from when you've practised it. So you know what a titration setup looks like by now, because I've done several of them, so um, you can see how this now allows me to explain it a little bit more clearly. So it only takes a few seconds to sketch something like that in. I mean, that's obviously a diagram I've got there off the internet. Um, it's a very high quality diagram, it's not my own, um, but uh, it, it illustrates the idea of sketching something to help you decide how to, how to word your next part of your, um, your explanation. So you can begin by rinsing the burette with HCl, so the inside of the burette glass is coated with the same concentration of HCl that you're going to be testing out. The conical flask has 25 centimeters cubed of your standard solution transferred from your volumetric flask using a glass volumetric pipette and pipette filler.
So you can add HCl from the burette until the indicator changes colour, and this is your trial titer. And then finally, repeat the titration until concordant results are obtained. Now, at this point, we've probably finished the question to get six marks, but hopefully what we've managed to do as well through this clip is to show you how the how you can actually split it into logical steps rather than feeling you have to write lots and lots and lots of sentences. There's a fair bit of writing, I'll give you that definitely in this kind of um, level question because they're asking you to describe a procedure. But try to think about how you could do it in bullet points. Think back through with the times you've done a titration and see if you can split up the um, procedure into to logical parts and you can put those logical parts down sometimes in abbreviated form, it doesn't even have to be a full sentence provided the examiner or the marker can clearly see what they're talking about. Okay, hopefully this has been some help in helping you reflect on your titrations question. But um, thanks for listening, thanks for your patience, and see you soon.